Hey, yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to some more that Arcane episode five. And y'all let me know that I was wrong in thinking that that girl that Jinx saw on when they were attacking uh, those, those firelight people, that was not Vi. Uh, she, I was in the same boat as Jinx, I guess. You know, I mis I, mist I mistaken her to be Vi because pink hair. Um, but you know, obviously we saw in the last episode, which I, I didn't piece two and two together, like the tattoos and all that stuff. I didn't piece it together at all. So thank y'all for letting me know that little fact. But uh, but now that I'm thinking about it, why Vi did what she did in the in while they were locked up and they were eating lunch or whatever to that dude, because obviously that's Silco's dude. She remembers him. She said, let me go ahead and bust his job real quick. But before all that, just a, there's a, a lot happened in the last episode just again with jinx and oh my gosh now it makes sense why she man it, oh my god there's so much like where do i want to start man like silko's the only person she knows or that she's she now has attachment to because going back to like episode three you know where again everybody would have everybody's that blood is on everybody's hands in that situation that's all i'm gonna say but you know vi doing what she did walking away and yeah she did want to come back but before she could silco was already there and marcus snagged her up and now i'm thinking about it again. bro see now now my brain's cooking a little bit now I, I still might be off but i wonder if marcus got that promotion because he turned Vi in or or obviously old girl I forgot her name but she died when Silco attacked uh um Benzo and them so but so she been locked up this whole time that's crazy and so Jinx thinks she's dead and mm, man I wonder I okay so oh my god like okay yeah no I'm, I'm all over the place right now I wonder if Caitlyn has no no power right now, so she can't get Vi out of jail because one, she lost her job or whatever, or she might still be an officer, but she she her mom interfered and now she ain't on she ain't out there on the streets no more. And Jace tried to give her a position just to you know give her something to do, but she ain't about that. She said, "No, I won't get in these streets one way or another." Hey, and I ain't mad at Caitlyn because one thing. Her mom is her mom is messing up big time. Because the, the one of the biggest mistakes you can do as a parent is try to control your child too much. Because all that's gonna do is just push them away, you know. So it's like she, her mom doing this, but Caitlyn, I'm hoping nothing happens to her. Cause I actually I actually like Caitlyn's character. Like she she trying to do what she gotta do. You feel me? I still don't like Marcus. He trash. Uh, Jace. I hope nothing bad happens to Jace because Madarda, she is straight using him. And he 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 don't he sees it, I would believe, but he don't see it because the fact that he did want to uh stop all of the research or whatever until everything calmed down. And so Madrada's like, oh, well, I don't really want him to stop that. So how about we bring him on as a counselor? So that way, you know. So she just trying to she just trying to butter him up. So she still get what she want out of Jason oh my gosh like i said there's a lot going on and like i said the whole situation with jinx and like her ptsd and you know just bro she just she just she is not the same little powder or who knows she might be the same powder and it all of this stuff just start started like showcasing itself like when we saw that first breakdown i don't know but i think it was just these events they've really like traumatized her like it's trauma like it just oh my god man but regardless i really like that last episode um again i still don't know how much time has passed because i know some of y'all said that that um vi was 14 before the time skip but that's all y'all told me i don't know how old powder was jinx i don't know so i don't that means i don't know how old they are now <laughs> so if y'all could at least tell me how old they are that would help me out a little bit <laughs> but uh anyways i talked long enough i'm ready to get into this next episode let's go ahead and hop on into it so who we focusing on now i do like the the visuals oh 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 the barrel of the gun Oh, oh, who is this? Wait, whoa, hold on. Oh, this Caitlyn. Is this her back when she was, uh, like, 
in like boot camp or something. Ow! Oh! Hey, 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 I love Caitlyn, man. She, she fire. She fire. Oh, that was quite some shooting. Kim. Grayson, that's her name. Did my parents pay you to let me win? Hmm. That's a serious accusation. <laughs> I'm like, yep, they did. I saw you. Mm, call her out. Is yours. You earned it. You haven't answered my question. Right. I didn't earn nothing. I don't want no handouts. No, your parents didn't pay me. I just thought you deserved it. Okay. Okay. We're going back to the whole vibe conversation. Yeah. I take a look at your file. There's no record of you or your crimes. What are you here for? Right. What is she there for? Okay. This is getting old. Can you just <laughs> send in whoever's going to kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? Right. Bring them in. Come get these hammers. Oh, she about to cross the red tape. You about to get grabbed. You about to get grabbed. Oh. Oh. Where did you get this? Oh. So this is how she going to get out? In what mad world would I trust someone like you? Someone like me? Uh -oh. Enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Mm. Yourself. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Under said he's going to eat you alive. Yeah. Yeah. Poke the bear, Vi. Poke the bear, Vi. How many chats have you had with her? You know, I never even thought to count. Okay. It's time, Vi. Need you, I need your help. Oh, she she ready. Gates open. Come on out, girl. Okay. Okay. So it's about to get real interesting. Cause this is this. It's like, cause it's it's just two, it's it's two things. Jinx thinks Vi is dead. Again, I don't know how much time has passed. Vi's last time seeing Jinx, Silco, she she was embracing Silco. So she she don't know what happened to Jinx. And seeing that picture, which is probably the first sign of of Jinx, of powder as she would know her. That's the first time she's seen her seen of her in a long time. So of course she she wants to do whatever she can to to go see her. And I ain't gonna lie, that reunion, I both need it and I'm afraid of it at the same time because I don't know how it's gonna go at all. You said you could control her. I lost six Wait. Offices. Six. I knew this dude, Marcus, was still trash. This time. The council's up in arms. I can't make this go away for you unless. Oh you my gosh. Arresting her would be doing you a favor. I don't need favor. Oh my gosh, this dude, I, oh my gosh, after seeing what happened earlier, or before the time skip, he still wants to work with this dude? What if I'm not interested in playing along? Bro, you look where you at, you about to get body, bro, you might not make it back. Sheriff. And then mm -hmm. So is Silco the reason he got that promotion? Oh, or at least he has some for, some hand in it. For their families, from an anonymous concerned citizen. This is a poor use of our time. I'm a counselor now, Victor. <laughs> he said this is a poor use of our time. You mean your time, because, bro, you ain't got much. What about our pledge to improve lives? For those in need. For the undercity. Look, I'm sorry I didn't announce our other projects in my speech. Soon we can do everything. Soon. You like soon. People who need our help now, Jay. <laughs> this, this man Victor's like, bro, you keep saying soon and all this bullshit. I don't got time. This corruption runs deep, Sheriff. Yeah. Root it out. Yeah, root it out. Have you made any progress with the stolen gemstone? Yeah. Yes. Chief suspect is an undercity gang. <coughs> oh, uh oh, he coughing it up. Yep, that go to blood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this man about to pass out? What? It's all about these rooms. They form some kind of mathy, magic -y game. Oh, she's reading uh, Jace's book. Oh my gosh. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, oh, the PT, the PTSD. Oh my gosh. Yep. Crying. Oh no. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, you bought that life, Caitlin? Ah, Vi's like, man, it's been too long. I need that adrenaline rush. Yeah. Caitlin, you got to move a little bit faster than that, girl. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Yes, sir. <laughs> you don't want these problems. You don't want these problems. Nice jacket. Ugh, she won't it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you finally made it, Kaylin. How you doing? Oh, hello? Welcome to the lanes. Oh, she needs to blend in. My little sister could I like the red. All us fisher folk can. Don't you want her little sister can do that when she was seven. Man, you better go save your sister, Vi, man. Mages aren't bound to single functions. It's said that the arcane speaks through them. Okay. I'm so what's about to, what are you about to do? They think. They adapt. Hey, Victor is uh he, he confident in his vision. Of course not. Hey, Vi, hungry? You said you want some of this this little this little, little squid thingy? I don't know what it is. <laughs> to question him about what? The meat? <laughs> I mean, I could ask him why you're scratching his ass while he's cooking. These connections, isn't that why we're here? We're here because I'm hungry. Do you know what prison food is like? No. <laughs> like I gotta eat that good, good. Yeah. <laughs> you like you want some? Oh no. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> Who's this? Guess nobody important. Oh God, Madarda! Ah, she's trying to wine and dine you. There are those who covet your power over the wealth the Hexgates afford, and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. Like you, bro, Jace. Like I said, I hope nothing happens to Jace because, yeah, again, he does have a big target on his back, and Madarda is not his friend. Uh, oh no, I just realized Vi is back in the Undercity. Look where she's at. Look where Jinx is at right now. Oh, 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 oh! Woo! You, you about to get caught, caught piled. <laughs> oh, she still did it. She said, "Don't you ever jump, jump scare me like that again." <laughs> oh, oh. Uh... Oh my god. Okay, never mind. This reunion ain't gonna be good. Okay, okay. She ain't fighting the machine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you still didn't beat her high score. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sore loser. Come on now. <laughs> I'm a dinger saying. Beautiful. No one's asking you to. These are simply favors amongst friends. I never wanted uh, anything to do with politics. Right. You push this on me. Exactly. The future now, Jace, whether you like it or not. With that comes the potential to shape your own destiny. I need you trying to shape your own destiny, not his. Bro, Jace, come on. Realize Madara does not have your best interest at heart. She's selfish. She only values her own ambitions. Fleur Balbox seems to think other arrangements would be more profitable. Okay. <laughs> the man's fool. With him, you'd be investing in the past. With us? With us? Who is us? You talking about with me? You ain't a part of this. Right. The hex gates are only the beginning. In fact, oh, jeez. Partners in our hex tech research. And I can't blame him because again, he's a scientist, bro. He's also young, and Madara's taking advantage of his 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 naivety. This is. I can already see this is not gonna turn out good for Jace. Like my daughter's probably gonna get what she wants out of this. Indeed. Better than expected. Look at that. She only sees him as an investment. That's it. And Jace is just falling right into her clutches. Bro. One place all the secrets are spilled. Okay. Where is this? <laughs> hey, Caitlin, as long as you stay with Vi, you you good. Oh, they going crazy. This is a freaking brothel? 
This man said, I like them bubbles. Yeah. yeah. Caitlin, girl, if you don't get the moving. You're hot, cupcake. Okay, talk to her. She said, you look good. What's your name? <laughs> Matilda. Sounds like the type of guy who will be in there. Hi. <laughs> uh oh. Matilda. What's good? My parents named me Matilda. After <laughs> My parents named me Matilda. The ex deck wonder boy is on the council now, and he's asking questions. So what so you gonna do about it? Before he finds the truth. But isn't that a? That would this be. Gone too far. Imagining yourself a hero. One final like, is he trying to like, is that a way of like throwing Jinx under the bus? Probably not, but I, oh my gosh. Then what are you waiting for? What? Bro, ain't no way. I was like, what? I can't do it. Oh. Give it to the doctor. You're the only one I can trust with this Jinx. Wait, he's trying to use Jinx to weaponize it? Sickles just use child. Child, bitch, you could have used my name. Silco don't got your best interest at heart. Have you heard anything about Powder? I think Silco has her. Uh, uh oh. I have to find her. Yeah. When you do, it ain't gonna be pretty. Regular. I can have Miguel tell you where to find her. I owe you. Oh. Go crazy, Caitlin. My father put hammers in the hands of the people and they built this magnificent city. Imagine the wonders they could create if we put the magic in their hands. Imagine the, the freaking destruction at all that'll come about all that magic in their hands. Take from the world. We're not often in the position to give anything back. Oh no! And now she over there grazing the hand? Oh no. She is literally taking advantage of Jace, bro. She, oh no, this is, bro, this is fucked up. He's too naive to even realize what's going on. While Madara is over here, oh, we only take away from the world. You still taking away from the world because you only fueling your own selfish ambition. While Jace is actually trying to give back to the world. To figure out why it's not working. You will. Oh, she got a little crush on him. Headed home soon? Oh. We could walk together. Uh oh. Probably going to sleep here tonight. God damn, they still going at it? Jace out here over there freaking locking lips with Madara, old manipulative ass, while freaking Victor's over here fighting for his life. Oh, no. I'm bro, these ain't visions, bro. That's you, your life force. Like, ah, bro, clean your. Oh. Hello? Oh, Madara still in the. Wait a minute. While Jace is over here freaking knocking the boots, knocking the ankles. Oh, hold on, Madonna. This is insane. This is insane. What is going on? Oh my gosh, bro. This is this that there's so much going on. We got the galaxies. We got something's going down over there. Vander wasn't the man you thought he was. Right. He was like a brother to you and he turned his back and Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Right, right. I've got a new one for you. Oh, goodness. Betrayed. Missing an eye. That pain, it feels like it'll eat you from the inside out. Can mm. either break you or forge you into something greater. Oh, boy. He giving her you this big old speech. How to die. Oh, no. Pain will no longer control you. Oh, no. James is perfect. Oh my gosh. That's bullshit. I'm like, if you can't accept me as powder, then you can't accept me as Jinx, bitch. Yeah. Bro, go ahead and run up in there and bust her fucking jaw in, bro. Just. Ah. But she ain't gonna do it. She ain't gonna do it. She gotta play it cool. Even though she's angry, she gotta play it cool. This man freaking having a fucking late night drink. It's like, man, I should have I should have did it. I should have just uh, right there in the office. The doctors. They said you. How much time? Bro, and so I'm guessing he kept it. He kept it a secret, but Jace had no idea this whole time. He just thought he was like a coughing up blow. Was dang, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you remember me, bitch. You remember me, bitch. Yeah, give me that hair. Ah, yeah. Come on, come on, by. Come on, by. I, 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 I. I see you never learn patience. Bitch, you're not even strong. You're using a venom, and plus you got that shimmer injected in your freaking arm. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still. Oh, oh shit, quick. Okay, bro. Vi is a fighter. I love it, baby. Uh, go to sleep, bro. She hit him with that fucking uh. I forget the dude's name from UFC. Uh, oh yeah, crush. Mm -hmm, give me that back. Uh, yo, how your back feel? Uh 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 uh. She said, "No, nah, I don't got a kick, bitch. I'm gonna give you these hands." Yeah, you got in. You inject yourself with that good old shimmer. Give me them body shots. Oh, give me that knee. Now take this knee. Uh. Where is he keeping her? Yeah. Keeping her. You mean Jinx? Hmm. She works for him. Oh goodness. The nattery. Oh! No! 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Come on. Few more. Few more. Caitlyn. Yeah. Come on. No, I need a flesh shot. I'm an excellent shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sharp shooter. You feel me? Stop calling me that. My name is Caitlyn. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> and this is the the blossoming of a beautiful friendship. The fact, you know what's crazy? The fact that Jinx can figure this out is insane because, I mean, it, it's one thing to, to look at notes, scientific notes, but to understand these scientific notes. She's back. Yeah. Yeah. From the dead. She was never dead, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. See, see, he was over here thinking. He was over here thinking. Oh, oh, I can get away with doing everything I gotta do. I can. Hey, Powder, your sister dead. But no, guess what? You gonna lose little Powder, little Jinx when she, when Vi pop up. At least I hope so. <laughs> because I mean, we saw early in this episode, she she was over there. I swear she was doing some visual training against against Vi, or or she could have just been just trying to you know act like she was Vi and just try to beat her tops to her high score, which she didn't do. You feel me? But <laughs> hey, this this is a good episode. Hey, I hey Vi is a fighter, bro. She was putting her hands on Seven cause she didn't want them that problems. She over there freaking and was still getting body. Cause you trash. You ain't no fighter like that. Every time I see you, you getting dropped. You got freaking dropped by the firelights, firefly flies, whatever they are, whatever they are. Freaking and then Vi done dropped you. Like you are useless, completely useless. You are, you are only in that position because you damn, you fucking dove in front of that damn explosion for Silco. You're trash. You're not a fighter. And shout out to Caitlyn for coming in clutch. Sharpshooter. Yes. Hey. Hey, I'm loving this right now. But I'm worried about Jinx now because she clearly done figured out how to deal with the hex, hex tech. And I don't know. I feel like if, if Silco gets what he wants out of her, he ain't gonna have no more use for her. Like, he's like, ah, the hex has been weaponized. Finally, you know what? I don't need you anymore. Bop, bop, get rid of her. Marcus, he's, he's, he's close. Like, he's on the edge of betraying Silco, but it's like, he's so deep in. He's like, man, I got a little girl. And if the truth comes out, she's going to lose her father, whether it's in jail or <laughs> in a coffin. So... There, there's so much. This episode, yo, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, Jace, oh my gosh, bro. Jace being just completely ma manipulated. Like, and he, I don't know when he's going to realize it. It, it. it ain't even about just not realizing it. He does, he, he, he knows a, somewhat what's going on, but because, you know, his research and because this is his life's work, like, the shit that saved his mom's life like he, he just don't want to give that up even though he still has a good heart about it he wants to you know put it in the hands of the people to to, to better their lives madarda is only trying to do this for herself whatever's gonna fill her, her bank account whatever's gonna make her because 
I think they said it like in the first episode or two or something like that when she first showed up. Like, she's like, she just wants to be, she wants to pretty much be like the wealthiest in her family. Like, that's at least if I'm remembering correctly. Like, my daughter's trash. Jace, bro, get your act together, brother. I need you to come out, cut, cut out that naivety. Um, uh, 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 Victor, I don't know. Okay, that whole situation with Victor, like his blood went into the the little thing and so i don't know what's about to happen there i'm curious i'm sure we're gonna find out soon uh uh but bro hey fire episode like i said i'm definitely looking forward to the next one hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace